We've got a market that's off 254 points. There's some concerns right now about uh, an imploding Europe, of course, uh, Italy. We've been watching that story very carefully. And there are also some concerns about tariffs and what that means for the world economy and specifically for U.S. companies. Joining me right now, publisher and editor of the Gartman Letter, Dennis Gartman. Dennis, you've been a little worried about this market. You haven't quite bought into the whole bullish scenario. Um, how much of the, the no. tariffs that are going to go into effect at midnight tonight are affecting your thinking? A lot. In fact, a great deal. And I find it dismaying that we are reinstituting tariffs against two of our best allies. Certainly, we're instituting tariffs against our best ally in the world, Canada, our largest trading partner by a multiple of, of, of uh, numbers compared to mm. anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about the fact you know, the, the American people think that uh, these tariffs are going into effect on steel and aluminum to do something against China, when indeed 15 or 18 percent of the steel that we get in the world comes from Canada, far mm -hmm. and away more than any place else. And now we're going to talk about doing, uh, putting into trade protection against Mexico in the midst of uh, NAFTA negotiations only a month see, before see, we I disagree have an election. With you, I disagree with well, you. Uh, you but, know why? Because I think it's I actually understand. smart from a negotiating standpoint. In other words, now we have some leverage, Dennis. We haven't had any leverage. And so now as we go into these NAFTA negotiations, maybe it's a little bit more worthwhile for them to think about easing some of the tariffs they put on our goods. I mean, I, but, but I, I don't Trish, like tariffs. I'd like everybody to have zero percent, Dennis. But you know what? That is not the world in which we live. And so if we're sending goods there and they're charging tariffs, by almighty, we ought to charge tariffs on their goods that they send here. Well, Trish, we're better than that. I mean, that, let's just simply say that we are better than that. We are the strongest economy in the world. We are the best producers of goods and services in the world. We are better than that. Just because somebody else puts a tariff uh, on us, you know, Dennis, does that mean that we have to act? We, we may be better the, than that, the, the, but again, I'll go back to my hourglass economy, sir, and I will draw it for you. This is what you have right now, and this didn't exist back in the 1960s and the early 70s. It started happening after that, and you see this group right here? This is the middle class that's gotten squeezed. You've lost 800,000 jobs since NAFTA came into effect. You have lost so many, so many manufacturing jobs to other countries, is, and you know why? It's because policies are not doing anything, Dennis, to protect our American workers. Is the GDP of the United States higher now than it was before the, the, the creation of That's NAFTA? That's fine, Absolutely. Dennis, but you Are know we... what? It doesn't matter because, yes, okay, the wealthy are getting wealthier. Yes, our corporations are getting bigger and bigger. And if you're CEO, you're earning more money. If you're a shareholder, you're earning more money. But the workers That's not have been disproportionately hurt in all of this. And no one's standing up for them. So what do we do? Put put the tariffs into effect, create raise prices on goods and services to the average American public. That doesn't make any sense, Trish. That that's that's nonsense. What I would like to well, see yes, I, is, I a, is, is a playing field that's fair. So zero percent for us, zero percent for them. Let's just get rid of tariffs so we can sell far more goods all around the world and our goods I, and therefore our workers and our manufacturers can be more competitive, Dennis. We agree on that. I wish we had no tariffs anywhere in the world. We should have freer trade around the world. But the question that I have at this point is we're only one month from an election in, in Mexico where we are going to allow a, a, a far left wing, a, a, almost a communist, become the, the next president of our second or third largest trading partner. And by, by putting these tariffs into effect right now, we give uh, uh, Obrador... A, a chance to win this election going away. That I find dismaying, that I find disconcerting, mm -hmm. and no one's paying much attention well, to that. look, I mean, that if, that, if that happens, they are hurting themselves, and they have themselves to blame for that. But in the meantime, I'd just like us to look out for us and for our middle class and our workers. I have to leave it there. I'm on a hard break, but Dennis, you know I love seeing you. Thank you for coming on the show. We'll talk about it some more.